Greetings again, slaves of the Almighty Fema. I, Lord Helitrin, on the first day of the tenth week of the year 279 Ordo at Chaos, have returned to further augment the teachings of our now deceased masters. When last I left you to your labors, you had learned the nature of the early religious politics of the preceding age of Anno Domini, known to us today as the Dark Age. Particularly of note was the heresies of the day, which served to undercut the old religion, and make it possible for the hidden power to re-emerge. While the proper definition of heresy as we know it today is anything that contradicts the holy articles of FEMA, in that time the word was applied to anything which corrupted the true meaning of the Christian texts, known as the Old and New Testaments. Throughout the age of Anno Domini, all the way back to two millennia before our day, attacks were waged on the consistent doctrines of this wicked belief system, mostly by those who actually sought to strengthen it and make it more accessible to future converts. What you must understand my flock of faithful servants, is that these heretics did not necessarily act with the intention of destroying Christianity, but the results of their actions helped to make it possible. Sometimes nearly the whole of their church came into the influence of these alternative teachings, and the adherents of the original doctrine would number in the hundreds against the heretical thousands. Sometimes these incorrect views arose from placing greater strength on certain passages of the scriptures over the rest, while paying little heed to the context of the entire book. At other times, misunderstandings arose regarding the nature of their God, their own nature, or the relationship the two shared in so far as the holy books were concerned. But regardless of the kind of error, the result was confusion and the weakening of the message for those who may have been swayed by it. The specifics of each individual heresy that came to pass within the confines of Anno Domini are far too vast to get into this day, as they span more than 2,000 years of this planet's history. But what all of them shared in common was, that they manifested themselves into an entirely new and different religion, one which would more closely reflect our own as it is today, and would, by default, go to war and seek the destruction of the original religion. This is important for all of you, faithful of the cult of FEMA, because the heresies in question all struck at an essential issue regarding human nature, thus speaking to what ought to be done with you wretched creatures. What is now, and has always been self-evident is, that there is a state of dissonance in human nature. You have built within you this tendency towards violence, cruelty, and hypocrisy that some among you loathe and attempt to resist, but that all of you succumb to. Christianity believed this to be a foreign curse, that was instilled in man, that was not a part of his original nature, and the resulting death from it being treated with fear, because man was not built with the purpose of dying. We, however, being the antithesis of this way of thinking, understand this error to be an eternal flaw that has always existed in your species, and that there is no way to atone for, or correct this flaw. Henceforth, there is a dire need for your perpetual bondage in labor and slavery. Understand well, unquestioning adherence to the will of FEMA, that there is no way for you to choose to become better than your ancestors. There is no intervention on the part of some mystical cloud guy, there is only your disgusting, lying, swine-like nature, which has been instilled in you since your birth. It is all that you are. It is all that you can hope for. Return now, blessed drones, and make haste as you continue to fuel the power plant that sustains your meager existence. Remember what is now, is what will be tomorrow, and so on until the end of your lives.